welcome back to my channel it's Keely here if you're new to my channel please don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and give this video a big thumbs up and once again my name is Keely and I'm so thankful that you guys stopped by my channel today first I'm gonna start this video off with apologizing I've been gone for a week and it feels like I've been gone for like a whole month six months a year and trust me you guys I am very sorry. I had a video pre-recorded. It totally got deleted. I had edited in the whole night. It just poof, deleted. And I was like, for the love of all that is holy, I'm going to upset some people. But besides that, I was in the middle of renovating my kitchen. Um, I was doing cabinets and me being me, I thought it was just so, hey, we're gonna slap some paint on. No, we had to go through, clean them, sand them, clean them again, and the door them with vinegar, and then we got to paint. I was like, cheese and rice, because we did this four days before my grandparents got here from Wisconsin, which that's going to be an up, uploaded what? That's going to be a video that's going to be uploaded soon. I literally just got done taking the footage yesterday, so I am in the middle of editing the video for you guys, and it is a vlog, and I'm going to give you guys a sincere apology I have not determined whether I'm going to bleep out all inappropriate content or if I'm just not gonna put it in there because you guys my family um is not censored it's um kind of inappropriate at times you know there's cussing there's you know the whole nine and while I was recording you know I tried doing it where no one knew I was recording and vlogging and they kind of I guess didn't get it until like maybe halfway through my grandparents visit but yeah that's going to be a exciting video i had fun making it and there's so many helpful tips in that because we did go out to eat you guys know i'm gluten and lactose free plus i have ibs and i found out some really cool things when you guys eat out and i've tested some things that people say to try on the web so that is going to be very exciting and I really hope you guys like that video because let me tell you guys I am working so hard on it it's not even funny but on to today's video I am going to be sharing with you guys some cool finds and things that I was given by my grandparents that I thought maybe you guys would want to see and share and also shout out to my shirt be fierce um yeah totally random but it's okay so the first thing I'm going to start off with is the things that my grandparents actually brought for me. And one of these, I was like, this is so cool. Like, this is awesome. So first thing I'm going to show you guys is my grandma actually found this trial size Physicians Formula BB cream. Okay. It doesn't provide as much coverage as like a CZ cream would. And this is a trial size, but I'm going to be testing this out for you guys along with one of the other products that I actually got but I got this product from Walmart but they're both physicians formula so yay because I like physicians formula so that was really cool I wasn't expecting and I also introduced my grandma to physicians formulas lip butters it's so crazy you guys my first lip butter was more than to Brazil her first lip color I didn't influence her she picked it up she liked it her first one was more than to Brazil too and I was like yes we are so alike I swear so the next thing that my grandparents got I me, mean, they actually got from the airport, they thought of me because, you know, it's gluten-free. So everyone knows that when you go gluten-free, they say to avoid like caramel coloring, caramel, um, and everything of the sorts. Please don't make fun of me as I'm saying it wrong. I know some people say it's like caramel or caramel or I say caramel. I don't know. Don't. Don't. know. So my grandparents found me these. And oh my gosh, you guys, they are so good. These are seriously gluten-free caramels. And they have um, different candy bars and stuff that's gluten-free. And it's the Dutch House Gluten-Free Caramels. Um, soft in texture, rich in flavor, you guys. I'm normally not a fan of caramel, so it didn't bother me that much. But I tried these, and they are so good. They got me two packs, and I've eaten half a pack. <laughs> I'm horrible, but it... It's so good, and I'm actually going to try to make, like, caramel cover chocolate brownies on a Blue Free Living episode for you guys. So my papa found a video, and I was like, this would be so good for a video. And plus, it looks so good, you guys. It looks so tasty. Oh, my goodness. It was... Yes. 
Another thing that my grandma pointed out to me because I was hungry, so she gave me this bar called an RX bar and she bought me a box and this is what the box looks like. And here's the cool thing. So it's a 12 gram protein bar and every single bar you get, it doesn't matter if you get the kids ones, the adult ones, um, what flavor you get, it doesn't matter because it has three egg whites, four almonds, six cashews, two dates, and there's like no BS. I don't know if that means like, you know, no bowl or whatever. Um, but these are the mint chocolate ones. And um, on the back it says what you see is what you eat. On the bottom down here, if you guys can see it, it does say gluten free. Pardon my dirty fingernails, you know I was cleaning around earlier. But yeah, these come in different flavors. I don't remember which one I tried personally. I took some footage on my grandparents vlog. So you guys are going to see that and it's actually really good and it was really filling. So if you guys want to take snacks with you in your purse like me because I can't the house without food. Um, these are the really good and beneficial because they just taste so good. They're filling and I was scared you guys. I was scared when I tried them but they're delicious. They're good. Trust me on that. Next thing I got some things from Walmart. You know my mom you know sometimes like I work really hard sometimes she'll get me stuff from the store and I finally got the Rose All Stay um, Physicians Formula Setting Spray. I've used this once I do believe and it you guys it illuminates my skin I swear it made such a difference when I put my makeup on to me at least it just adds that finishing touch that's really great for your skin so I love this baby I'm gonna show you guys because I so I wore it for my sister's graduation and you guys my makeup literally stayed I did it at 8 o'clock that morning and it stayed until like, I think I didn't go to bed till 1.30 and it was still like, just like I put it on. So I love it. I don't know if it's like that for everyone's skin types, but that's what it was like for mine. Something else that we found is my last sunscreen in my summer essentials was 70 SPF, I think, or 75. We found an Ultra 100, 100. SPF sunscreen and this was from HEB. It was not from Walmart. My bad. It's the Solution Sunscreen Ultra Sunscreen UVA UVB protection water resistant for up to 80 minutes and it's paraben free broad spectrum SPF 100. Um, and I haven't found anything saying that there's gluten in sunscreen so I would assume it's okay. I would, I would assume but this is just what it looks like. So I've already worn these a little bit, but I always get a pair of these memory foam flip flops because I can't wear the normal flip flops. They hurt my feet because I have the curve, but this is just what they look like. They have the memory foam and I used to always get the Nike ones, but then I realized that Walmart has their own. I don't know what brand it is, but I get a new pair every year. Um, they're perfect for the summer because honestly me, I tend to pretty much just wear tank tops or bralettes and then shorts and flip flops like all summer unless I really feel like hey I'm gonna dress up today I'm gonna look cute today that's not every day for me like honestly you guys a lot of these videos in the summer you guys are gonna see me in like a tank top or something and sometimes I wear makeup today's a no makeup day you know my hair is just in a ponytail because yesterday was emotional you know my grandparents left I was crying like, I may be 20 years old, but I miss my grandparents. So I'm going to give you guys a little bad story on the grandparent vlog before you guys watch it to, you know, explain everything about it. The last cool thing that I have to share with you guys is something that actually makes me feel a little, like, more happy and relaxed. And it's not tea. It's not tea. Everyone thinks that I am saying that it's tea. And it's not because I tried this tea. You guys, I was either having an allergic reaction or I just really that tense that it was relaxing me and I, I felt sick. Like, I felt something was wrong. Like, I was so drowsy. I was, like, falling over myself. And it basically was knocking me out. And I was like, what's going on? So, yeah, that was interesting, but it's not tea. It is incense. So I'm gonna show you guys what the incense looks like, which is this part, and then this is the incense holder. Okay, so maybe I can get through this now. 
So there's four dogs in here. So if you see them crawling on the bed or I like, you know, pause the video, it's because they're probably doing something they're not supposed to because, you know, dogs are like little toddlers. So as I was trying to tell you guys, this is what the instant looks like. And basically you just burn it with a lighter and it like releases this scent, like it smokes, but it's, you know, a scent. Um, I don't remember which scent this is, but it smells so good, you guys. If you guys want to like relax and not like drink a tea or you want to drink a tea and sit relaxed in a room that smells really good, I definitely recommend incense. This is the incense holder and on the bottom here it says Ohm. This is a sign for Ohm and of course all the incense ashes like get placed here and this is the, this is the hole that you put the incense in. So you take your incense holder, your incense... Faithy Mae, that is not cool. Stop jumping out the window when the window's shut. Okay, please. So, you put the incense holder and the incense together, just in the little hole like that. There's gonna be a little tip out here, but don't worry about that. But yeah, then you just burn this with a lighter and it all falls in this tray and you're good to go. So I have a funny story for you guys. So right before this video, you know, I was gathering everything and I dropped one of the items that I was going to show you guys and it spilled on my floor. There's still quite an abundance left, but it spilled on my floor. You guys, today is just a rough day. It's, it's rough. I even have like a breakout happy, like it's rough. So I found, so it's broken. So don't, don't mind that. Um, it is the Home and Planet Dish Liquid. This is a gluten-free dish soap. And I thought that this would be interesting to share with you guys because we were shopping and we looked for dish soap and sometimes my dish soap like makes my skin itch or I get splotchy, which is a recent development. So it's not like it's been doing this at the very beginning. Like the, my body's still cutting things out. For instance, I have to officially go completely lactose-free, completely dairy-free. Um, because my body's just not taking it anymore, it's not accepting it, so that's a bit of a struggle, but it's okay, because for whatever reason, if it's like eggs mixed into something, it's fine, if it's just eggs or just cheese or anything like that, I bloat really bad, but um, I haven't got a chance to use this yet, but I wanted to show you guys, and I lost some soap because, you know, it spilled, and my life is being rough today, but... Yeah, so before more dogs come on my bed. That is the end of today's video. Thank you guys so much for dropping by my channel. I really hope that you guys like this video. And if you did, please don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and hit that subscribe button down below. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, you guys. Bye from the dogs, too, because they're running out of my room. Hey, May. Really? Okay. Well, hello. Hi. Oh. Is, is this what we're doing? Are we... Do you want to say hi? Oh. Okay. Well, come here, Faithy May. Let's say hi to the YouTube fam. Oh. <laughs> say hi. Or bite me. That works, too. No. You look so, like, scared. <laughs> okay, so, that's, no, nah, stop. Oh my god, no! Oh. Okay, oh, okay. Um, take the May. Okay, go <laughs> Bangle. Do you want to say hi to, or are we just, like, okay. <laughs>